Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons, and this is another video in that set of videos I'm doing that kind of show you how we put our boundary drawings together here at Redefine Horizons. This is a project we're doing up in Placer County. We're doing a land title survey for it. And so I showed you a little bit on our uh, base drawings, uh, line work base drawing and our anno base drawing. And so uh, we're just going to continue with our, uh, with our anno drawing. Sorry about that. My neighbor's upstairs and I like to come through the ceiling. So uh, let's come. Let's go over and uh, just catch you guys up on the boundary anno drawing. So I did some work uh, while you guys were goofing off, and, um, and so you can see now I've got all the found monuments inserted. I've got the uh, monument labels with the correct monument numbers and descriptions, record references, and um, I went ahead and added a couple labels for some of the survey maps that we've got. Um, I labeled our search as, uh, search found nothing areas with the uh, with their property corner numbers, um, added a road label here, uh, just we, there were several monuments along this line that, that got blown out in the road. Cities and counties like to blow out survey monuments in the roads and so I just instead of doing an SFN on each of those I went ahead and put in a uh, just put in a, a label that said uh, we didn't find any of the, mon the monuments in the road. So also added the uh, subject parcel label here uh, with the, uh, the owner name, the instrument number, states that it's a parcel on this parcel map and then the, uh, the area it's actually parcel one not parcel two so what I want to show you in this video is uh, we're going to add the adjoiner labels and um, we need to add some uh, search found nothing symbols and some easement labels we probably won't get to all that in this in this 10 minute video but once we get done with those things this is going to be really close uh, to being ready and then we can start working on our actual sheet land title survey sheets so Let's go ahead and get the adjoiner labels done. And uh, what I did, just so you guys can see, is uh, in my line work drawing, I went ahead and stubbed out some of the adjoining property lines. And those are on their own layer, this GIS layer, so that whoever gets in the drawing knows these aren't surveyed. But we want to have them in there. Uh, that'll help us place our adjoiner labels, and we'll actually show those on our land title survey sheet as well. So I'm going to go ahead and save those changes, and uh, we're going to reload that uh, XREF in our Andro drawing, anno drawing, and uh, so now we've got those lines, and uh, we're going to uh, create our joiner labels now. So to do that, I'm going to copy this parcel label here, and uh, we're going to rotate this 90 degrees, and we're just going to—I don't eyeball very much, but uh, parcel labels are one thing I do eyeball. So I'm going to put that about right there. Drop this one in down here. Okay, and then I've got uh, two more. I've got one here and one here. Okay, and I, I don't typically do the full uh, full deal here. What I will do is I will do the uh, the owner name and the APN and the document reference if I have it. And uh, so let's go ahead and let's get these cleaned up. So. And actually, I want to. I also want to add the APN to this. So let's pull up our APN map. And, and just so you guys know, I just sketched in those adjoiner lines off my APN map. I had some distances on my APN map, and it, it got us close enough. And I just ran the lines perpendicular to my subject parcel. So again, they're just they're just for visual appearances. They're not they're not survey grade. Okay. So my APN is twenty three dash two hundred dash sixty seven. So I should have added that. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, we'll add our joiners here. Okay, so uh, for now I'm just going to say DN XXX and I'm going to put in my APNs I know. And you may have to pull more than one APN map uh, if your joiners are on other APN maps. And then I'm going to actually just edit this and say lands of XXX because we need to get that information off the either uh, off the assessor data or off data uh, off the grant deed. Okay, so uh, I will 
update these labels. Okay, I'm not going to make you guys watch that, but that will uh, that will take care of our joiner labels. Now, sometimes I'll put a joiner labels across the road too. Just depends. Uh, this easement is actually a, or this road is actually an easement, not a fee. So it wouldn't be a bad idea to get those adjoiners across the road. I will think about doing that. Let's go ahead and drop in our search found nothing uh, labels. I want to go ahead and add those. So those are a block. Let's see if we've got them. I think we've got them in our drawing. So drop that in, scale it up by 30. Okay, and there's our search, F, uh, search found nothing symbol. And I've only got a couple spots where we didn't find monuments. So uh, we didn't find one at these two bottom corners. And you'll notice I've got mass or uh, wipeouts on those blocks, which looks really good. The only problem is when you do that, sometimes you got to adjust your leaders. So we'll do that. Okay. So those are the only two spots we need SFN symbols. Uh, we got our joiner labels in. We just need to update them. Then I also need some easement labels. So I got a few minutes left in this video, so I'm going to do that. So the first thing I want to do is I just want to add some dimensions. So we're going to come over here and put some widths on here. And because I have uh, easements stacked here, I'm just going to do the overall. So I'm going like to run nearest to perpendicular there. Okay, so there's one. And then I've got this. Uh, so I got a 250, and then I got a. I think it's 120 foot easement, yeah, 125. I'm gonna just pull these out. Okay, I'm gonna um, also show them to the nearest foot. Uh, I don't need to go crazy. So we'll fix that here in the precision. And then we'll put those on the text layer. Some guys uh, keep their stuff on a separate um, dimensions layer. I don't. I just put them on the text layer. Okay. Then I need to uh, make some callouts for my uh, for my easements. So let's go ahead. We're gonna just copy a multi-liter here and do that. So I'm gonna do. And you know, it's nice if you can get it close to the to the dimension. And I like to use either the integral symbol or the architectural tick. I'm kind of getting fond of this architectural tick. And we're going to say, um, this is exception XXX. And it's a 250 foot wine utility. Easement drive in OR. I think it was 0055-0468 or something like that. I'll check that. So uh, let's go ahead and I'll show you guys what our uh, land title analysis, land title report analysis sheet looks like. So here's our land title report analysis sheet, and here's that easement. Okay, and it's um, parcel 24 of this 6120534. Boy, I really messed that one up, didn't I? I was thinking of the road deed. So this is a 612, which is why it's nice to have those title report analysis sheets done when you get to this 0534. Okay, and the exception in the title report is uh, number four. And uh, when I have a big dock with lots of, of uh, lots of parcels, I like to help the reader out. And just say, hey, it's parcel 24. I think this one had 35 parcels in it. Um, so we'll tell them it's parcel 24. And I don't normally have exception four in here if I was doing something besides a land title survey. But since I know this is a land title survey, I'm going to put that in there. Okay, and then we got a couple more we'll do, and then I'll, uh, 
I'll end the video. I'll just do one more, and then we'll end the video. So I'm gonna be at 10 minutes. So then we've got this 120 foot uh, easement. Again, I'm, I'm trying to get this close to the dimension, not right on top of it. And this is exception number five. So it's a 125 foot utility easement. And it, this is in its own parcel, so described in OR 0911-0231. Okay, so uh, the only other easement I have to label at this point is the easement for baseline road, uh, which I'll need to show now. Uh, to do that, I need to go in and actually add the, the right-of-way line on my survey, so I'll do that here shortly. Okay, so uh, there you go, guys. Doing a little more on anno drawing. I'll probably do one more video on the anno drawing, and um, I'll just show you show you what it looks like when I've got it all done and, and ready to lay out. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.